What is going on guys, this is Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Art Genesis. Now, last time we left off, we did a, what was it called, the Melee, Magma Melee Medley, I think it was called. We did a mission over here, the Gamma version of the mission, and actually, to be quite honest, it was a little bit harder than I was expecting. Let's just face the fact that it ate through our armor. We did have a lot of, uh, I think we had full riot armor, I think, maybe like one or two things of hazard students there. Yeah, I think, I think our helmet might have been hazard. Or maybe our gauntlets were, I don't remember. But either way, we had a lot of riot armor on us, which had, you know, a decent armor rating. You know, only a couple hundred. It'll, it'll be getting pretty expensive to try and upgrade that, which I'll, I'll continually try and do off camera. But, yeah, it, it did not hold up too well, even during that gamma where, you know, you deal more damage and you take less damage. I don't know if I want to move on to the beta. At least not right now. Maybe, maybe once we upgrade our armor a little bit more, give it some more armor rating, maybe upgrade it. You know, from Journeyman to whatever the next one is. I think Mastercraft after that one. This Apprentice right here up to Journeyman. Get that up to Journeyman. Maybe uh, that one up to Mastercraft. And of course, yeah, we also get the shield for defeating the Gamma mission. So definitely want to use this shield to kind of block and soak up hits and maybe add some durability to that as well. But of course, durability reagents, armor reagents, all that kind of stuff. They get pretty expensive. So, uh, you know, I've got a few over here. This is for weapon durability, armor durability right there. They do get pretty expensive. I'll try and upgrade them as much as I can, but... I don't know if I'll be able to do the beta this episode. Maybe we'll do another mission this episode. Uh, also, we do have tech. We did get the, I think we got these tech leggings last episode as well. Can't wear them, unfortunately. It won't let me equip it until we actually defeat a boss where it actually legitimately unlocks the, uh, the tech rooms. Because I think we have the, uh, I think we have the leggings unlocked because I think I have a mod that, uh, oh wait, no, I don't. No, yeah, wait, hold on, which is, which is that? I thought I saw it just a moment ago. Hold on, tech leg, can I wear them now? Oh, I can. Well, I'm confused now. <laughs> so I guess we can wear the uh, the tech. So we did have some other tech somewhere. I don't know where. What, maybe maybe defeating the motor. I think we did it all three times, didn't we? Yeah. Gamma and then beta. Oh, hey, look at that scarecrow right there. Then beta and then alpha. I think we did it three times there. So maybe we did unlock the tech leggings during that eventually. I don't know. But I think uh, at one of our other bases, which I... Well, I don't know why I can't talk to... There you go. Jeez. Get talk to her sometimes. Uh, where should we go? Probably the ocean. Yeah, probably the ocean. That's probably. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't click on right there. Uh, what was it? East. I think so. Yeah. Go to the ocean east, and we'll check if we have any tech over there. I think we do. I think I pretty much consolidated it, most, if not all, of my like armor and stuff like that in the ocean biome. And I'll probably end up doing the same thing over here in the uh, volcanic biome. I don't know if we'll actually make a, a base in the lunar biome. It seems really deadly. I don't know if it's even possible or even. A good idea to make a base over there, but we'll worry about that when the time comes. But for right now, I just want to go to the ocean biome real quick and see if we have any more tech over there. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have. Like, if I type in tech, I think I already tried to unlock, like, oh, whoa, 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 it's teleporting right now, so I can't move anything. Oh. Here we are, right on target. Yeah, see, we have the tech helmet and then the tech gauntlets unlocked. I think we have a tech helmet in here somewhere. I think we have multiple tech helmets, don't we? Because I remember having, like, multiple of those. Uh, where's our base from here, though? Uh, oh, it's been so long, I completely forgot where our base is from all this. I think it's this way, isn't it? Uh, I'm just gonna assume it is, but let's get on our jetpack. Actually start flying up. Why am I not flying up? I know why I'm not flying up, but I'm floating around, though, so that's good. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not floating in the water here in just a moment. I'm getting closer and closer to the water. No! Why do I have chicken legs? It looks like I have chicken legs. I barely see them. <laughs> I'm, like, floating half in the water and stuff. This is kind of stupid. This looks... <laughs> what is this? All right, well, let's just go into the water, I suppose. But let's go see if we have any tech over there and see if we're actually able to wear it. Because we have it unlocked. And, uh, you know, you should have the tech engram unlocked in order to actually wear it. Otherwise, it will be like, oh, you can't wear it for some reason. Uh, but I don't know if we got the ability to wear these other tech things, like tech helmet, from defeating the motor. I think I completely forgot about the tech stuff whenever we defeated the motor boss. So let's see, where would it be? It's been a while. I forgot what these chests had. Uh, armor here. Yeah, so we have a tech helmet right there. I thought we might have tech gauntlet somewhere else as well. Uh, I can wear that. Ooh. Hmm. 495 armor. I wonder why I'm able to wear that. I kind of want to look up the motor battle and see uh, what tech grims you get whenever you defeat that thing. Okay, this makes sense. Yeah, for doing the beta, you unlock the tech boots, tech gauntlets, and tech helmet tech grims. And then for doing the alpha, which I think I, I have to go back and check. I think we did all of them. Uh, for Alpha, you get tech boots, tech gauntlets, uh, tech helmet, 
And the only thing is the tech chest plate, which I'm not seeing on here, but maybe we get that a little bit later. Then there's other stuff here, like a tech grenade launcher and then the tech sensor. I think we had the grenade launcher for one of those waves missions, uh, kind of like last episode. But uh, tech trough, tech sensor, tech generator. Yeah, it looks like we legitimately unlocked those ang room, tech rooms at least. So that's good. So now we can actually wear, uh, well, the only thing is, is that it, it uses element to power it up. Uh, it doesn't say what the actual the buffs are of this thing for some reason. Usually it should. Yeah, see, that has a, for some reason, these tech leggings don't have a description. Uh, never get lost again with the tech helmet's night vision. Yeah, we already have that with the, uh, the little, what is this thing called? The ocular implant. We have that, so I guess we can put that on this. Oh, that, I, I think I, yeah. I think I purposely avoided using it because I couldn't put the ocular implant on it for some reason. Ooh. But I might not need it, honestly. We haven't used the ocular implant in a while, so honestly, um, maybe we don't need that. I'm kind of worried, though, because there are, like, poisonous gases in the volcanic biome. So I, I don't know if the tech stuff is uh, going to be able to protect us from that. Also provides targeting mode that reveals other creatures' positions. Yeah, that, I'm like, it shows uh, outlines of creatures from the ocular implant. That's one thing. So I guess it does it with this as well, but it, it does it temporarily, I think. And then, uh, infinite oxygen while underwater. That's, that would have been nice to have over here. <laughs> but of course, we got that, like, right at the tail end of the, uh, the ocean biome, you know, defeating the motor. And then I don't know what the tech leggings do. I, I guess we'll have to power them up and then see what that does. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if we have gauntlets here anywhere. I'd have to check. Oh, we do have a riot shield over here. I think it's actually my old riot shield. Yeah, about 5,000 armor rating. So I guess we'll switch that out. So there you go. Boom. That way it has a little bit more durability. Or did I say armor rating? I meant uh, durability. But yeah, it has 30 pounds. So, you know, you might as well use it. It's taking up a little bit of carry weight right there. But at least this over here has some pretty good armor. This says, uh, how about hypo and hyperthermic insulation? Hypo is only 22. This is 26, and then negative 16 for hyperthermic, and this is negative 9, so... That's... I don't know. I, I guess we'll see what we could do to upgrade it. It's probably going to be really expensive to upgrade this tech armor. But, uh, I guess we'll just, for curiosity's sake, see what we don't salvage it. Uh, 92 Black Pearl... You see, Black Pearl's element shards... Or, we get element shards in the Volcanic Bond, which can make them into element. Crystal? Metal, Palmer, all those things are very obtainable in the Volcanic Biome. I think we could upgrade this, you guys. While I'm here, I might as well see how much element and stuff we have here. Maybe I'll just grab it. And then uh, we can take that over to the other biome and upgrade this armor. And hey, look at that 60. Uh, oh, and you know what? I'll grab the crystals over here, or gems. I grab all those gems just in case I need those, right? Now, is there anything else over here I need? I'm like, I guess I guess while I'm here, I could go get some Silic Pearls. There are still a lot of Silic Pearls relatively close by to our base. Uh, decent amount of Black Pearls right there. I'll grab those. Uh, there's some element right there, 246. Yeah, I'll take that. Definitely need that if I want to upgrade that armor. But yeah, while I'm here, I think I'm going to pause and go get a bunch of Silic Pearls. That way I don't have to buy it and, you know, slowly eat through all of our hexagons up there, right? But yeah, I guess now from now on, we're, we're going to start having some tech stuff, you guys. I didn't think we were actually able to use the tech stuff because, oh, we, did, we didn't have the tech rooms legitimately or whatever. But yeah, we did. We did it because of the motor, so I'm actually pretty proud of that. Uh, what are we going to use to get the, uh, the Silic Pearls? Or at least, what am I going to use? I guess I'll use the Tooth of Toothus, because everything else I think is inside of a cryopod. <laughs> so I'm also get on the Tooth of Toothus, go down here, go get a bunch of Silic Pearls, and I'll see you guys back at the Volcanic Biome, where... I don't know, I, I guess we'll try and up... I'll, I'll try and upgrade the armor off camera as well, by the way. You guys already saw, like, all the materials that we need to upgrade it are, like, in the Volcanic Biome anyways. And then, oh yeah, I think, uh... I think I have to get a lot deeper, actually. I think our, uh... Other magma sores are like really close to maturing, so I want to go see if I could actually give them care and then give them imprinting. And then, of course, maybe we'll switch that saddle over to the high level one, and then we'll have another magma sore. And we can, maybe we can go on a rampage with one of those things, or maybe I can go around do another mission or something like that. I don't know. But for right now, oh, yeah, up there are silica pearls. For right now, let me just go get a bunch of silica pearls that way we can kind of stockpile them, and I don't have to buy them from Helena and waste all of our hexagons. And I'll see you guys here in a bit back at the uh, the other base. Yeah, I'll see you. Look at that 31 silica pearls. Even get some raw fish meat alongside this as well. <laughs> like I said, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back, and man, I did a lot of work between this uh, little clip and the last clip you guys just saw right there. Uh, by the way, our magma sores are, are all grown up. I came home, and uh, they wanted to be, one of them wanted to be walked, the other one wanted to be, uh, what is it called, whenever you just like go up to it and hit e, it wanted to be cuddled. Uh, so they both have their imprinting, 100% imprinting there, this is a level 100, and here's a level 130 over here. 100% imprinting right there as well, so kind of want to look at the baselines of these guys. Uh, no longer can we see our armor on the bottom left or any uh, other stats on the on the left side because we don't have the uh, the little ocular implant anymore. So I guess we want to get used to that for a little while, I suppose. But let's see. 
So what are his baseline stats? 19 for health, 15 for melee damage compared to the 12 for melee damage and 15 for health. So both of those stats have gone up, which is great. Carry weight's gone up as well. 17 compared to 15 over here for all other one. And uh, this is like 14, 14, 14. Uh, pretty much across the board is actually kind of surprising because this one has better. Uh, this is a level 85 whenever we got it tamed. It's a level 100. This one has a better health baseline, a better carry weight baseline than this one. Huh. That's kind of a weird roll of the dice right there, but at least with this one over here is a little bit better overall, so that's good. Uh, also, you can see on my hotbar, I'm actually starting to use that mining drill. I saw we had the mining drill. You guys remember we got this, I think, during one of the missions. I just don't know when. It, we just kind of had it stored away, but while we're in the uh, ocean biome, I was looking up in our chests and saw that I had this thing over here, and it is already ascendant. We got it when it was ascendant, but it only had like 100 or something like that, uh, like weapon damage, so I upgraded a few times up to 272% weapon damage, and it's actually pretty decent, you guys. Uh, might want to show you guys how I use that. Uh, also, by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, I, I set my base list to uh, burrow mode. Some of you guys reminded me about the, the burrow mode of the base list, so I did that to kind of save a little bit of space over here. Uh, let's grab, oh, whoops, I guess it grabbed all the metal out of this guy's inventory when I was crafting stuff. Uh, also, I upgraded the durability of the tech helmet and the uh, leggings. And they're both, it doesn't show like the color, you can see there's a, a slight purple, like, tint or something like that in the background, I don't know how to describe it, like a glow, you can see the green glow back there. There's no glow for the tech stuff for some reason, but I'm pretty sure both of these are ascendant, or uh, golly, I wish, <laughs> are uh, apprentice level, because I, I, whenever I upgraded the, the leggings, it was uh, blue at the very top, and I upgraded those twice, so that's good. Uh, I assume the tech helmet's also apprentice, because they both have full durability right now at 1500, so that's good. That's why they're both at like half durability right now, because I was unable to uh, repair it up to full durability after giving it some durability reagents. But we'll worry about uh, like a chest piece later once we actually unlock the engram for that, tech room for that, as well as the other uh, gauntlets and the boots. Uh, I believe we have the tech room for both of those, I just don't know if... I guess we could look it up how to craft those. Let's see, uh, tech boots? Yeah, there's right there. We might be able to make some. Maybe. I think the only thing about this is that you're able to, like, sprint or something like that. Or, uh, no, this is fall damage. Oh, I think the leggings, the, the special ability of the leggings is the, like, the short sprint or something like that. I have to look at how you do that, though, but, yeah, no fall damage with the tech boots, which is actually pretty good. Uh, it does still take element whenever it does that, though, so you need to watch out for that. And then we have, was it gauntlet? There it is right there. And I know there's, like, a, a super punch or something like that that you could do with this one, but, uh, 450 metal ingots, 20 element, and yeah, that's a lot. Speaking of element, I did run out of element while upgrading the, uh, the tech leggings, and I actually went back to the volcano, and you guys remember those red crystals? When we break them, it gives us element shards, and if we use, like, uh, 120 or something like that of them, uh, we can get one actual element over here. No, just 100. Uh, we could actually get one actual element over here, which is good. So I went back to the volcano and actually used the mining drill to actually get some of those uh, element shards, which is pretty good. You know, show that on camera, especially testing out our new Magbasaur over here. Let's give him the saddle. Boom. There you go. And let's get on him. Oh, whoops. Why do I have the mining drill out while I'm on this guy? Is he stuck? No, he's not. Okay, that's good. All right. Well, oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Before I leave, let's, uh, let's, let's give him... Let's give him a spoiled meat so we can do this. Pull some stuff. Let's get some metal ingots. And let's see how good this guy's going to be. I guess we could take him out for a test run. Let's get a thousand. I don't care. Get a thousand. We have 17,000 more metal ingots inside of a storage. So I don't think it really matters if we have a little bit missing here, right? Metal ingot. And I guess we'll uh, go do a rampage with this guy. And if we have a little bit extra time at the end of the episode, then we'll do like a race or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, four levels right out the bat. Yeah, we saw health was pretty good. So maybe I'll give him some... Uh, Wow, he goes up by almost 500 points right there, just under 500. That's pretty good. He's under, uh, just under 10,000 health right there. That's not too bad. Kind of want to refrain from doing a melee damage upgrade for right now, just so we can see how much damage he does. Uh, probably not the best to test it out on a dode like that, though. Let's go on here, this, uh, this Paris Air, no, Paris Rolifus right here. So we 488. I think that's more than the other one. Maybe. I have to remember, but we can do some more, uh, we can do some level ups for, uh, melee damage and see how much that goes up. And we have a Stego over here and a Trike, so 488, oh, and another Parasaur, yeah, 488. So let's see, let's do some level ups here, three, three level ups now, sheesh. Let's do some, uh, level ups right there, 488, and now we're doing a celebratory, whatever we're doing. I don't know, he's looking at the Stego right now, and he's looking away, what? Okay, so 488 up to 505, that's pretty good. And of course, the, uh, the Trike over here is armored, so he's only taking 196, though, but... I kind of want to see if we charge this up. Oh, that didn't do a direct hit, so we didn't see how much damage I actually did. But still, <laughs> I'm sure that the... Oh, and there's an ankle over there. But that's also... I think that's also armor too, right? It's not like this is armor piercing like the... Uh, oh, point up. Man! 
Ah, man, yeah, I guess, yeah, the tech... Oh, I'm suffocating again. The tech helmet. This isn't a good idea to use this, you guys. Unfortunately. I'm like, these have... Really good armor right now. 914, 909. I guess we have to. Even though it gives us underwater breathing protection, for some reason I'm still getting suffocated from the poison gas. Ah, oh, alright. I guess I'll go back and maybe, maybe if we come across like an altercation or like a, 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 a battling stuff, we can switch over to the tech helmet or something like that, but I guess I'll go get the other uh, helmet. That way, you know, we could actually survive poison gas attacks and stuff like that, right? I don't even know what it is. It's, I guess it's just the environment. Yeah, I guess maybe there's like gas vents that are leaking out that poison gas or something like that, because we almost like died during that scene. We need to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's go over here and grab the armor. Yeah, there it is right there. I guess we'll just put that on. I don't know if there's going to be any of that in the volcano itself. But I guess just to be safe, I'll, I'll keep this on right now. And speaking of volcano, let's go over to that volcano right now. And go test this guy out a little bit more. See how much damage he's going to be able to do. See how many levels we can give him because he's so fresh. He's got the imprint bonus. He takes less damage. I think he deals more damage. I, I keep forgetting what the actual imprint thing is. <laughs> but yeah, it, that's pretty good. Uh, actually, hold on. It shows up there. Rider imprinted. 100% damage and... 30% damage reduced. Wait, no, no, no. Rider imprinted 100%. Damage plus 30%. Resistance plus 30%. So yeah, we deal more damage and we take less damage, which is pretty good. Uh, 30% actually, to be more specific. Let's charge this guy up with a searing spit. Let's spit at this thorny dragon, try and get a direct hit for 1511 right there. Not bad. I don't know if that was a direct hit or not, but I'll still harvest that guy nonetheless. See if we can get some more level ups. Seven more level ups by doing basically nothing. What? Man, these guys are crazy whenever they're like freshly tamed slash freshly just became an adult. You get so many Lola's for these guys. There's an Allosaurus over there and another. Hey, look at that, a Magmasaur. See what level that Magmasaur is, though. I'd be able to one. Oh, level 45. Yeah, that thing's dead. Same thing with this guy. Boom. Oh, he's not dead just yet. Let's melee him down, though. We're doing only 202 to him, though, unfortunately, so that sucks. But he is on fire, taking a lot of damage over time, and he's about to die. Yep, he's dead. That's good. All right. Oh, whoops. Man. I got the spyglass here, it's zooming out on him whenever I'm charging up the steering spit. And there's a direct hit for 906 damage on this guy. Nice! Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. because we have the uh we have the what's it called right now? Ah, I forgot what it was called. The ocular implant. Yeah, whenever we look at critters, it shows their spat stats on the left side again. So that's good. I I I guess it's not necessary to have the super spyglass or awesome spyglass or whatever it's called. I don't think it really matters to have that enabled right now, but man. Here we got a 23 level ups. Whoa, that is insane. Let's do let's do 10 level ups for heckin' melee damage. Maybe do a few for health, get up to like 15. Yeah, that'll take a little while to get up to. Now one more. Now one more. Now get up to 15k. Maybe a little bit of carry weight there too. Just kind of why not, right? Because, you know, we're going to go over here. We're going to get some, uh, some more red... Uh, gem, not red gems, but you know, we're going to go to the red gems to get the element shards. And kind of want to show off that mining drill a little bit more. We only, I only showed it off briefly. Oh yeah, I think it was in the Arctic biome. I think I remember showing off the mining drill in the Arctic biome and I was like, eh, I'm not too crazy about it. Especially because I had an ascendant level, 700% melee damage, uh, weapon damage, pickaxe, metal pickaxe. So I was able to get more resources compared to the like 100% weapon damage. And it was ascendant level, but only 100% weapon damage, uh, mining drill, so... Yeah, it wasn't really a fair comparison, but I did upgrade a little bit more. It's at 270-something percent right now, so we are able to get more materials right now. And it uses gasoline, so, you know, I already have a lot of gasoline for my jetpack, so not like we need to carry anything extra for that thing, right? But, but you know what? I should probably go... I just thought about this. Let's go to the other side. Let's go through the lava, which is actually beneficial for us, remember that? Because whatever we're in the lava, it charges up our searing spit instantly. Oh, you know what? There's a... I see a Magmasaur back there and a few Iguanons slash... Can't really tell uh, exactly what they are. Wait, I can't charge right now? Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Instantly. And then, is that going to get him? Oh, nope. They hit some rocks right there. Man! Ah, whatever. All right, well, yeah, we can get a lot of XP for taking on Magmasaurus here. 100% right there. Boom, 1,000 damage. Taking 45 damage per second, basically, on this guy. He's down to 4%. He's about to go down. Boom! His body's just going flying like a heckin' puppet or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> like a ragdoll. Let's go over here. I saw another Magmasaur up there. And then if we kind of circle around... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of metal up there, too. Yeah, I also had to, uh... Because I was making a lot of Palmer. I needed Palmer to upgrade as well. Uh... Oh, yeah, and then we do have that ability to, like, attract critters to us, too. I guess if we want to get a bunch of critters to, uh... To level this guy up a little bit more, we could do that one ability... Where you guys saw that, like, purple gas owls around this guy that, like, attracts critters to us. I forgot what it was called. 
like a yeah, like, like that thing. I think that's what he, what we could do. I think it might be space bar that does that. Like make critters near us aggroed on us, even if they're like neutral, like an ankylosaurus or like a trike or something like that, right? So there you go. Took this guy down. How many levels do we have now? Kind of want to check. Sixteen more levels. What? Oh my gosh. Don't want to do more health though, because we need to. Oh man, I've got to bring the uh, the moon, st the stuff from the moon. What was it called again? The ambergris. Um, and I need I need to go back to the. If anything, yeah, I guess maybe that'd be a good idea to. Go back to the moon, maybe test out that new, uh, no, not really new, but the mining drill, you know, freshly upgraded mining drill and see how good that's going to be in getting the ambergris up there. Uh, but I did also go up there off camera at one point in time and mined up a pretty good amount of ambergris. So who knows how much ambergris is still up there, but we do still need to watch out for, like, radiation and I guess just sunlight in general up there, which is kind of weird because, you know, usually sunlight means, loud. oh, another, sca oh, you know what? Someone said... With the skeletal critters for the uh the fear of old event. Did that kill it? No. It only did a thousand damage though. But whenever you kill the skeleton critter, of course you don't get the fossils, but they drop a bag, and in the bag are the fossils. Or some fossils you can get. There you go. Because I guess there are two different ways you can get the fossils. You can get them by killing the skeletal thing like this, or finding like a fossil mound or whatever it's called. Now does he have an inventory? No, he does not. What? Hold on, can I mine him with a mine drill? Is that a thing I could do with this? Yeah, we kinda have to start it up like this. I don't think so. Let's get the chainsaw out. We can get a lot of cut. Yep, or a lot of keratin right there. Did he drop a bag right there? Or did we just have bad luck? Or maybe I was that guy was fake news in the comments. I don't know. I'm thinking that was guy that guy was fake news in the comments. You guys, I don't see a bag down here, unfortunately. Man, uh, we do still have the fear of all thing on going on, obviously, because of course there's a heckin' skeletal trike right there, right? <laughs> and we saw a uh, scarecrow, I think, earlier. Scarecrow like spooky pile or whatever it was called. Uh, we do have a glitch right there. I'm not too crazy about. Fixing glitch? Where is the thing from here? Yeah, you should probably go up this way. Probably going to be this pathway to go up into the volcano itself. But yeah, let me let me make my trek into the volcano. Then we can maybe do this. Is it this? I think it's this. Yeah, the purple cloud that kind of gets a bunch of critters nearest aggroed on us. We can kill them and then get a bunch of XP and then of course level this guy up even more, make him even more powerful. Then of course test out that mining drill a little bit more. But uh, yeah, let me just make my way over there and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I am back. I'm here in the volcano. Uh, I already, there was an area back there, like a pit back there with some red gem slash. Oh, is this a pit here? Ooh, it is. Ooh, I can even see some red. Ooh, and even some uh, eggs down there. I don't know how good those eggs are, but I suppose what we could do is go down there, do the purple thing to kind of aggro all the creed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we going to do this right? Are we going to? Oh, and then dismount and then land right back on him. Took no fall damage. Nice. No fall damage for me. No fall damage for him. That's good. Look at all these magma sores here. Let's do this. I'm like, they're all already aggro on me. I'm in the lava. Oh, wait, why? Why can't I? I'm in the lava. Is it because I'm like technically swimming? Maybe it was. I don't know. But there you go, dude. Great damn. Why are these ones like not moving? I'm not complaining. I'm just going to keep hitting him with searing spit. For some reason, it's not charging up instantly, even though half my body's in lava right now. Oh, there's two of them right there. I didn't even. Oh! <laughs> Look at his body just ragdoll in there. It's crazy. I love it. I don't know why specifically the magma swords ragdoll so much. <laughs> They're so massive and they just go flying. It's hilarious every time. Uh, we do need to watch out though. My magma sword, it looks like he's like half health or whatever, but remember, he was like, he's basically full health, but because we gave him so many health upgrades, like it looks like he's half health, you know? That's kind of how it worked out right there, unfortunately. But there you go, shoot a small little fireball at him. I don't know why I'm not able to. Let me, let me just melee him down. See how much damage this, or health this guy has. Uh, about another thousand. We should be able to take it down here. Boom, it's already down. Nice. I wonder what those eggs are, though. Let's see. Let's get rid of these dead bodies. So we can, uh, look at them with the spyglass. Level 55 and level 50. Okay. We're, oh, I think I, I think I know where I'm at. I think I know roughly where I'm at. Because those levels seem familiar. There's another dead body there. I don't know if I want to do any uh, mining drill testing there. Oh, I think I did do a little bit of mining. Ah, was it here? I might have done a little bit of mining here as well. I just don't know. Why is this one like glitched? What? It's like halfway in the. Oh, there's an. No, oh, here, here, here's a, here's a few of them right here. Let's get them aggro on me. Boom. You guys hearing that? I just roared and there's some purple heckin' fog right there. You guys like not able to move? Kind of sucks if they can't move and I'm just kind of killing them instantly, basically. Yeah, look at that. Charges up instantly. That's amazing. Kind of want to get a little bit closer. Let's get a little bit closer to these guys. Let's see. And. Oh! How much else does that have? 2k? Is that the one? Oh! It just explodes right there, basically. Oh, there's two of them right here. I didn't even see that. Look at that! 
They're like stacked on top of each other. That's why they can't move because they're stacked on top of each other. There you go. There's another one over here. Yeah, this was like two of them are like glitched in the ground. What? What's going on with like the spawning in of the, the magma swords here? I'm not, I don't know, but I'm not complaining. I want to see how many levels we have here in just a moment. Because we are wrecking egg and house here with high level... Well, not really high level, but you guys know what I mean. Hard hitting critters here in the form of magma swords. You know, multiple thousands of health. Surely they give us a... <laughs> Surely they give us a ton of XP. Look at that, the dead body hasn't even hit the ground. Boom. Now, and it's stretching all over the place, too. <laughs> this game is crazy. I mean, I was a little bit of a... Oh, there's even obsidian there. I wonder how good this uh, this mining drill is at getting obsidian. I guess we'll see in here in just a bit. This, this guy is actually pretty good at... Or, you know, magma swords in general are pretty good at getting obsidian. Because right, I actually came over here off camera again. Not here specifically, but the entrance of the, uh, the volcano at the very top of the volcano. I went there off camera to get a bunch of obsidian because I remember a lot of obsidian being up there. And I got like actually 3,000 or something crazy up there. So, uh, yeah, these volcanoes are crazy good at getting obsidian. I'm like, it makes sense because there there's literally lava and magma all over the place. So, of, cool, of course, once it cools, you can get a bunch of obsidian, right? But uh, we are taking some damage from the magma effect. And we're... Still, are we still? Yeah, we're still. I think we're doing better on health. I think we had like 17, or not 17,000. I think we had like 7,000 health uh, whenever I last looked at it. I, it might have been off camera. Oh, wait, hold on. We did get some dinosaur bones. Ooh, this guy must have mined it or something. Yeah, look at that. We have six of them. How much do we need for uh, like a costume or something like that? Or like a skin? Like 15 or maybe 30 or something like that? Hey, and, oh man, they expire. Well, they expire in like 30. Is that days? I think it is. 30 days, 23 hours, 51 minutes, 58... Wait, no. The 58 seconds isn't even moving. So maybe that's minutes. 58 minutes, 51 hours, 23 days, 30... Years? I don't know. <laughs> Why would bones expire, though? Is that, like, a thing? Because, uh, like, if a dead body just, like, kind of, like, rots away or whatever, like, all that's left is bones, right? I don't know, I'm not a bone expert. Either way, we have a lot of levels right here, 36. I don't know if I want to do any more uh, health levels right now. I'm like, I kind of want to, but at the same time, we're still regenerating and I don't have any heckin', what do you call it, on us right now, unfortunately. So can't level the, or I can't heal this guy up instantly uh, without that whale vomit, whatever that stuff is supposed to be, <laughs> the ambergris. But either way, mainly damage, I guess we'll get that up, uh, maybe up to like 300% or something. If we can get it up that high, that, oh, I think we can. Boom, 301.2. Holy, let's get some more carry weight. Can we get up to, uh, we'll just go up by? Nah, it only goes up by like maybe 30, 40 ish. Not really the best. Maybe we get some more health. Maybe we get up to like 20,000. Although it's going to look like he's almost dead all the time. Like, I think the corners of our screen are kind of turning red because he's like at the lower third of his health or whatever right now. So that kind of sucks. But hey, at least we clean out like most, if not all, of the uh, the Magma Sword here. If there are any more around here, they might be just stuck and they can't move. So it might be a pretty safe time for us to test out the uh, the mining drill. See how good that is. I think you still have to pick up the black pearls, so we can't really test it out on those. I think I have to actually pick them up like this. Boom, 41 black pearls right there. Oh, I wonder what happens if we get a, uh, a like a fireball shot at us if I block like this. If it's actually going to block a pretty good amount of the damage. <laughs> Either way, the mining drill. Let's see how good this thing is. It has to it has to like start up. It's kind of funny. I'm like it is powered by gasoline, but yeah, there you go. 120 element shot. Oh, I put up the uh, the pickaxe though. So I can't really, uh, did I put it up or did I put it up over here? Yeah, I think I actually straight up put it up. Man! But yeah, I can't, uh, can't compare how that does against the mining drill, unfortunately. But you guys can definitely see how, maybe third person's better for this. Uh, maybe first person. Yeah, you can actually see, like, the laser and stuff like that. It's, like, it's kind of ranged, and I, I do like it. It's kind of interesting. It's just that, you know, the melee or the weapon damage of this thing. I really need to just level that up over and over and over until it goes up to 700 and hits the, the limit, you know? And then it's going to be a little bit more comparable to that mining, uh, to the metal pickaxe. We got a little bit more, uh, black pearls right there. We do- oh, oh, I wonder if- oh, yeah, we got a lot of stone on us right now. I do still- I do need stone, actually, because I do have a lot of chitin, because I- of course, while I'm here, I usually get a bunch of chitin from, like, you know, arthropleurs and scorpions and stuff like that, too, uh, using the chainsaw. But I also need a lot of stone to combine together with all that chitin, carrot, and all that kind of stuff to, uh, 15, see, look at that 1500 element shard out there. I wasn't even really trying. I was just demonstrating for you guys. Golly. And of course, it does get pretty heavy, too. 38 pounds for 1500 right there. Like, it adds up. So, definitely want to watch out for that. Any more, uh... And I think I think this mining... Like, the, uh... The, like, a little lightning arc or what? Oh, yeah. How's it do against the obsidian? Can I even mine it? I'll have to start it up. Boom. 34 obsidian. Yeah, I don't think it's really doing too well. I think we get, like, 80 or something like that from the, uh, the pickaxe. So... Obviously a little bit better at using that. 
And uh, I don't know if we get. Oh yeah, I think we just tried it against the uh, the, uh, the the skeletal trike or whatever. I don't think it. Yeah, it doesn't harvest dead bodies, unfortunately. I think all we get from these guys is hide and silver. Or er, sulfur. Yeah, <laughs> hide and sulfur. <laughs> That'd be pretty good to get randomly just silver from that. A brand new resource to art. <laughs> but yeah, I guess while I'm here, I might as well get a bunch of this element shards. Remember, 100 element shards equals one actual element. We could actually combine it together in the fabricator. I don't know if that's like in vanilla fabricators or my specifically the fabricator top or the smithicator can do that. I don't know. Uh, I do know, usually for element stuff like that, you need to be at, like, a supply drop slash other stuff. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they did change it to be in the Fabricator. I have no idea. Oh, level 90. That's actually pretty decent. I'll keep that. I'll keep it. At least for right now. Uh, level 6. Eh. I'll leave it. Oh, almost just went straight to lava right there. Is there any more, uh... Oh, there's some black pearls up there. Whoop. See if we can glide, 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 go, 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 go! Oh! If I had the the tech boots, I wouldn't have taken any fall down. This, oh my god, I need those tech boots, like, so bad. Oh, look at that, there, yeah, that one's, like, stuck in the, the, how do I zoom in with this again? Yeah, I don't know how to zoom in with the, uh, the ocular implant, I keep forgetting. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you guys see the magma sword just staring at me right there, and it knows I stole its egg, it's a level 90, I have its egg! Is that another level 90 razor, or is that his actual tail? I think it actually is, it's, like, stuck in the rock. Either way, I need to head back over there. I am over encumbered as heck. I might, I might as well drop the stone. If I need stone, I can get it from the, uh, from the magma sword. Uh, speaking of such, I think we hear one coming towards us. Where is it? Oh, there is a, there is an actual loose one heading towards us right now. Ooh, we need to get out of here. Oh, man, I didn't even think about that. How do I get out of here from this guy without teleporting? I never really... Ah, man. See, every time I come into here, I just fall into here, and then I just teleport out. So, and these guys can't jump, obviously. If I hit spacebar, it just activates the, uh, the thing that, like, attracts critters to- Oh, yeah, how's this guy do with, uh- Oh, he only gets stone, though. He only gets stone from that, so yeah, we definitely do want to use a mining drill whenever we're using it on the red crystal stuff there, you know? Man. Alright, let's put all this stuff up. There you go. And, oh, man, a lot of black pearls over here, too, but yeah. Grab it with the, uh, with this, or- Oh, what if I use, like, a sword? I don't think I can, right? Yeah, I can't use that. I can't use the chainsaw, I think, right? Yeah, I can't use the chainsaw, unfortunately. So, yeah. Gotta use the mine drill or the pickaxe. And both of them are pretty good. Just need to continue doing some more uh, damage reagents to this mining drill. Get it leveled up a little bit more. It's almost halfway up to uh, what would be pretty comparable to that pickaxe, though. So, getting about... Oh, I think I might... Oh, I was about to say, oh, we got 200 from one thing right there, but no. Probably get about 100, yeah, basically one actual element from each red shard or uh, one crystal thing here. Yeah, 128 right there. Yeah, 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 see? That's not bad. And there's a lot of these, like, little pits here that uh, give you these red crystals. Like, of course, over time, they'll, they'll start regenerating and, you know, respawn back in and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's even more over there. Also, go over there and get some more as well. But, yeah, I might have been sleeping on that mining drill. It seems like a pretty decent thing, you guys, so... I think from now on, I'm going to continue to use it, at least to incentivize me to continue upgrading and therefore get it up to, uh, what is that right now? Yeah, 272% right there. Try and get it up to 700%. It's going to be pretty expensive because I have to use, uh, damage reagents and stuff. Oh, no, I almost, ah, I almost went straight into lava right there. You guys see that? It was crazy. Woo, here we go, here we go. Oof, took a little bit of fall damage right there, but thankfully it didn't land a lava, right? <laughs> But yeah, it's going to be pretty expensive. Uh, if anything, the only thing I was missing to make more of those uh, damage reagents was, uh, what are they called? Charcoal? But of course we have that new industrial, uh, what do you call it? So we're making a ton of charcoal right now. It's just that we need to get more wood to make the charcoal here in the future. But this thing is absolutely dominating these red crystals, you guys. I don't know the actual name of these things. I'm just going to call them red crystals. Even though I think technically red crystals are the things that give you red gems. Which I also brought back home, too. You guys remember we got the red gems, the blue gems, and the green gems from our uh, ocean base. So we have them all kind of consolidated at our, uh, at our volcanic base right now, which is pretty good. Either way, we're getting really hungry. I might as well get some uh, health. How are we doing health-wise? Yeah, we were a little bit low on health right there. Maybe like 4, like 30 or something like that out of 470. So yeah, a little bit lower than what was... Oh! Someone's shooting at us. Oh, there's a little bit of red crystal there in the background I can get, but I don't think you need to worry about that. Ow! Land on this guy. Let's just get on this guy. Ah, there's another one around here somewhere. Uh-oh, that was the wrong, that was the wrong button. Yeah, was someone at the very top shooting down at us, but he can't get the angle right. Yeah, I see him up there, though. Oh, he, oh, he actually got us right there. What? How's that even happen? What? Look at that angle. Now I guess, yeah, the splash was so big it was able to get us from up there. Man! Ah, alright, well, we can't move right now. 
He's actually over encumbered. Oh man, what am I going to drop? I definitely want to drop stupid stuff like the slingshots. Yeah, drop that and the cloth stuff. I don't need that trash. Dude, look at this. We keep picking up actual garbage. I know I just dropped like a metal uh, hatchet right there, but I don't care. Speaking of metal, I could drop 127 metal right there and I would not give a butt cheek. And I dropped the recipe of the Allosaurus brain randomly. <laughs> yeah, see, I do want to keep the stone though. Oh man, there's the Allosaurus. We're up. Magnus will right there. I need to watch out for that thing, but. Do I want to drop the egg? I'm like, if I drop the egg, it's probably still going to be here when I come back, right? So, 50 pounds, sure. There you go. 50 pounds, you can have it back. Oh, look at that. Randomly a, uh, off the plural right there. Hmm. Well, I guess if anything, I could, uh, keep the egg and we could just teleport together, right? That could be something. Look at the off the plural swimming into the lava. Is that thing, like, impervious to lava? I don't think it is. It might be. I have no idea. I'm going to get it with a shotgun or something like that just to be safe. Oh, we got it. We got it. Nice. Get this guy as well. Get him in the head. He's turned around. He can't get us. Get him. Wait, what? Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Nice. I don't know if I want to risk going down there and, uh, you know, I'll grab the egg. Boom. There you go. We'll teleport. He'll get teleported because he's, like, right next to me. He's in my vicinity. Yeah, that auto is way too far away. I'm not going to risk it for that basket, hater. Give me that 300 hexagons. All right, let's go home. And southeast. Yeah, I always have to hesitate because I forget where each base is in each biome. Here we are. Right on target. Yeah, we can split the load a little bit here and, uh, you know what? You could have the, you could have the stone. There you go. And then uh, I'll keep the, uh, the, there you go, you can follow me, and then we'll go back home this way. All right, and, uh, we have a little bit of a, a landmark right there to kind of navigate us around here, so, oh, whoa, whoa, a spooky pile, nice. Yeah, I need to find a fossil pile, or whatever it's called, to get more fossils. Maybe I'll try and find more of those, uh, skeletal, I wonder how many skeletal critters there are, like, skeletal, uh, trike that, yeah, I think both critters we saw, no, the first one we saw last episode, I think that was a skeletal stego, wasn't it? I can't remember, but... We saw a skeletal trike this episode. Got a little bit- Oh man, okay, I'm dehydrated. Okay, I thought I was getting heckin' suffocated. I was about to say, like, what? <laughs> yeah, let's drink some more of this oil water. And let's head back home right now, but yeah. If I find any more of those skeletal critters, I guess, yeah, I definitely want to go mine them. Or, you know, harvest them, try and get some fossils from them. Because we got six right there. I guess we'll see, uh, real quick before I end the episode. How many we need for specific stuff before this event ends. Yeah, I need 20 dinosaur bones, and- Oh man, the pumpkins. That's a pretty good amount of pumpkins. I don't know if I could, like, grow pumpkins and get more pumpkins that way, but I probably only have, like, five, if I had to guess right now. And I'm kind of wanting this, like, headless costume and maybe the pumpkin head or... I don't know, stuff like that. There's some... Oh, man, that's 20 right there. That's really expensive for, like, a random chibi dino. And I like... And those have basically, like, no use. They're basically, like, little pets. Stolen headstones. 35 dinosaur bones for that. So I guess it's relatively cheap for the, uh, the headless costume skin there, so... I'll try... But I don't know how many days left are in this event, or, you know, if we could find any more of the skeletal critters to spawn in in the first place, and all that kind of... There's so many factors into whether or not I'll actually get the, uh, the headless skin or whatever, but... Either way, for right now, I guess I'll just end off the episode, and then... Oh, I guess I'll also try and upgrade real quick. Three... Oh, some ceiling that! We have a ton of charcoal going in there. I might as well see if I can make more, uh, damage agents over here. Uh, what is that? Negator regen... I, like, never use this. Why would you want to lower a stat <laughs> instead of, uh, raising it? Oh yeah, didn't I say that that might be good against, like, hypo slash hyperthermal insulation in certain situations, perhaps? Hmm. Either way, let's see if I can make, like, I don't know, like, 50 of these damage reagents. I can- Oh my gosh, I can! Well, I'm gonna apply all of those to the mining drill. It's currently at 272 right now. Boom. 280. Ah, 280, that's not really that good. Wait, what? It can only go up to 280? I, I go through all that, and I'm just like, oh, it can only go up to 280 right there. I thought I can go up to like 700, like the, like the, like this, like the pickaxe is able to do. Is that really? It was basically full there this whole time. Ah, uh, all right, well, <laughs> I guess, uh, hey, at least I maxed it out like I said I wanted to do, right? But either way, I guess we'll end the episode off right there. We got a lot of random stuff done this episode, so either way, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. By the way, I, I put up a few critters and crab pots just kind of clean up the area over here. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That about my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we come back with some more Ark Genesis, I definitely want to do another mission though. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll do like a like a scavenger hunt or something like that so we can continue to adventure around the volcanic biome and kind of get a good look at what it has to offer and stuff like that. It kind of it kind of forces you to go on like every corner of the map, which is pretty cool. I guess I put this guy in the crab pot as well because I don't, I don't see myself using him. So I, I might as well put him in storage. So he's not like running all over the place. And the basil is like burrowed underground, so I don't think it really matters too much uh, if he's in a if he's in a crop pot or what. But 
Oh, and I wonder if, if our base gets attacked. Oh yeah, look at that. I actually have five pumpkins. That's like nothing. <laughs> I wonder if our base gets attacked if the uh, the base list will unburrow and start attacking it. Probably. Uh, but yeah, let's put up the other uh, crap house over here. I don't know where I was in the outro. This happens like all the time. I don't know why. I'm like doing the outro and then I get distracted and then I'm just like, oh, I don't know where I was in the outro. But you guys already know the outro. <laughs> Thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis. Hey, you. Oh, bye there. Oh.